What is going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and turn on bell notifications to know when I upload. So this is a Q&A part two to Amish people about my heritage and the questions you guys have that you might not know about. And I'm going to answer them here for you. A disclaimer though, real quick, I grew up Amish as a kid, so it's been a, a long time since I was actually Amish. So a lot of it's from memory and other stuff is from what my parents have told me and the rest is from living in the area for the last, what, five years or something. Yeah, so let's get right into it. Question one, are Amish allowed to drink or socialize outside of people in the community? Uh, as far as drinking, I have seen plenty of Amish drink. As far as adults, I have seen them carry cases of beer around. So is it allowed? I don't know. Do they do it? Yes. As far as socializing, yeah, they're allowed to socialize with just about anybody out there. They can go to family functions. They can go to like parades or uh, firework shows on the 4th of July. I mean, they can do, they can socialize. It's nothing wrong with that. Question number two is why do people use Amish and Mennonite interchangeably? It's not interchangeable. Mennonite are allowed to have cars and electricity and Amish are not. Mennonites, it's also different levels of Mennonite. So there's, I know Mennonites that are allowed to uh, live like everybody else, like English people. Uh, and then there's Mennonites that live literally like Amish, except like as far as clothes and farm equipment and all that but then they also drive cars. So there's different levels of Mennonite. Amish and Mennonite is not interchangeable. They're two completely different things, two different cultures. Next question is a little bit of a big one. Uh, why are they not allowed to have cars or electricity? The answer to that is it's of this world. Anything of this world is not allowed. However, if you saw my TikTok, there are different types of Amish. There's the Schwarz and Troopers, the Danners, the Old Order and the New Order. Now the Old Order is the most lenient of all of them, again, that's in my area. There might be different forms of Amish around, like Pennsylvania stuff that I don't know about. But they're allowed to have like flip phones and stuff. They're allowed to use power tools and stuff like that. The New Order is as well, and uh, the Danners are allowed to use power tools and stuff as well. But yeah, it's of this world, and stuff of this world is a sin to use, and they're not supposed to, so they don't. Next question is, why do they say English people? Uh, I've heard plenty of Amish say Hoheleat, which means high people, like they live high life, um, they drive cars, they have electricity. Hohi, that means high people. Generally, when they're speaking to an English person, they will say English people though. So, it's just the way they describe people that aren't Amish, basically. Next question, is an outside person allowed to convert to Amish? Yeah, they are. Uh, I know, actually know a guy personally, he used to be English and he got married to an Amish girl and he converted to the Amish ways. He actually can't speak Pennsylvania Dutch, which I didn't know at first when I first met him. So I was like speaking Dutch to him and he can kind of understand it. So he was kind of nodding his head and stuff and I kept talking and then he never replied. I was like, do you speak Dutch? And he's like, no, uh, I actually converted. I was like, oh, my bad. So yeah, they can actually. And it's kind of interesting. So if you want to convert to the Amish, how you do it, I don't know. I don't want to convert back, so I never looked into it but I'm sure there's ways to do it. I know there's ways to do it. So look into it if you wanna do that. Next question is when and how long does Room Spring take place? When is usually roughly 16 years old is when it starts. Not everybody participates in it, but it usually lasts anywhere from 19 to 21 years old. You just kinda of go out, live your life in the world, see if you wanna stay Amish, see if you don't, or see if you wanna come back to the Amish. It's basically just to experiment with the world. But they usually, they're pretty lenient on it. They don't make you come back to the Amish. They want you to, obviously, like your parents do, but they won't force you to come back if you don't want to. I mentioned a little bit about horses in the first video, and somebody commented, is it true that they are cruel to animals, basically? And no, they're not. They're raised to take care of the animals. They're raised to respect, respect their livestock. Is there bad people out there? Yes, I'm not saying every Amish person takes care of their animals perfectly, but I know 99.9% .9 of the Amish take care of the animals. They're raised to do that. And to see an Amish person be cruel to animals, very unlikely. If you enjoyed the video or if I answered your questions, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, turn on those bell notifications to know what I upload, and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. Hit on my TikTok at TimothyJory19 and my Instagram at TimothyJory19. Catch you next time. Peace.